Robert, congratulations on a, a very impressive performance tonight overall. And I know you're, uh, you're happy to get the win and ready to get back home. But, but how did you feel about the, uh, the performance tonight? Yeah, you know, I'm very happy, obviously. Uh, I worked a, a diligent game plan with my team the entire, the entire time for the last few months, straight after quarantine last time. I just jumped straight back into it. And I had the discipline to stick with it the entire time. And results were as you saw. As you said, dedicated to the game plan the whole time. Three-round fight, which you haven't done in a long time. Um, did you find that challenging at all the, as far as, you know, pacing and that sort of thing? No, I was stoked. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. In the third round, I was thinking to myself, man, if this was five, it would suck. <laughs> Can you talk about that third round? Because, uh, you know, you were doing really well. You hurt him. looked like he was out. Then he came mm. back, and it looked like he might have hurt you a little bit, too. Nah, it wasn't hurt. Just, uh, just nicked me. Um... Honestly, I, I saw that kick the entire fight, the entire fight, my, but I, I hurt my foot early in the f first round. Um, I think I covered it well because I kept throwing, <laughs> but it hurt every single time. So, but he's a tough guy. Resilience was his key word. The key word thinking about this fight was it's going to be tough. I probably won't get it, put him away. So I just got to make him pay. I got to hurt him the entire time, Pepper. Yeah. You made it clear, obviously, you want to shut it down for the year and spend time with the family. When are you eyeing next year? I mean, February, March? What, what, what do you think would make sense for you to fight again? March, April, yeah, hopefully. Like, so I've got the, the Christmas and then the newborn in January, and I, I, I don't want to be thinking about a fight in the lead up to my newborn. There, with all my kids, I've been thinking about fights. I've had my mind elsewhere, and I felt like I, I wasn't in the moment, and I refuse to do that for this one. Dana was here just before you, and he said, listen, he likes the idea of you and an Adesanya rematch. He thinks that's the fight to make right now. If that's the fight, what, what do you think? Is that the one that interests you the most right now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, a, he's a tough fight, man. I'm not stoked to fight him. He's a, he's a hard fight. He's so good. And he only looked better in his last fight. <laughs> you know, and the fact he beat me once already. But I feel... I feel I've got a couple of tricks I can I can roll out. I feel like I can play it differently this time, but honestly, like I, I know he's trying to do everything else, and good on him to to do that. I'm not thinking about it. Maybe me and him shouldn't think about it just for a little bit. He can go up to light heavy or heavyweight, whatever he wants to do. It doesn't bother me. My my plans are Christmas, my baby, and then and then hopefully our timelines line up then. So, and last thing for me, so honestly, I mean, obviously you want, you want the biggest fights, you want the Todd, you want that, but the, the rematch with him is not something that's imperative to you for your career? Mate, fighting particular people, like, no, I do want to fight him one day, one day, whether, it's, <laughs> whether it's, it's in my career or in the parking lot, like as two old fellas one day. You know, I feel like our paths will cross again, you know, and, and as a warrior, it's, it's something I need to do, but... I'm not, I'm not worried about who I fight next. My, my, my whole mentality with this game is you line them up, I'll knock them down. I'm pretty good at that. Hey, Rob. Uh, when you fought Darren Till here, you described it as incredibly tense. I was wondering, mm. was this the same sort of tension or was this a little bit different? Yeah, no, nah, it, was, it was tense. It was stressful too. <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe fighting is just stressful. <laughs> uh, Jared's always been built up as this guy who can just put people's lights out like right mm. away. When he hit you, did you feel he hit particularly hard, or were you surprised that actually you could take the shots? Oh yeah, like it doesn't, doesn't hit soft, but <laughs> but the, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you in on the secret of the game. It's trying not to get hit for the majority, right? He, he hits hard, but I think in this in this sport, I think in this division, it, everyone hits hard. I think this division is just danger, because I think it's the, the perfect balance between speed and power. Everyone can put you out, but they're quick enough to, so that you don't see it as well. It's, it's, it's a scary division, man. Hey, uh, Bobby Knuckles. On that note, talking about the hardest hits, you've been in wars with the Darren Tills, the Jacare Sozas, the Cannoneers, the Darren Tills, and obviously Adesanya. Who hits the hardest that you've experienced so far? Well. Let's take the guys that finished me out of that list because it's uh, <laughs> obviously they hit pretty hard. Uh, I don't know. Romero too hit very hard. Like, gave me chicken legs for a little bit. <laughs> you had the jab working all night. When did you really feel you had the confidence and you were taking him in this fight? When was the turning point for you? I, honestly, I felt confident the entire time. Uh, I was... 
it would have been really, really early in the first round, the first few exchanges, I felt, I gauged his distance, I saw his kicks, I felt like he served what, he gave me his best, he gave me what he's going to give. And honestly, I just had that timing of the jab, I had the distance, I could see everything, I checked a couple of his kicks, I slowed him down. Yeah, I, I felt like I had control of this fight the entire time. Great win, enjoy the holidays. I appreciate it, mate. Robert over here. Um, a lot of people were talking about, you know, Israel Adesanya's talking about Jared. Jared's mm. the next guy up. I mean, you hear a lot, but did it bother you, honestly? Did you feel like people were forgetting, the, you know, how many times you beat Romero and all this other good stuff you've done? No, nah, not really. Like, I'm not worried what other people say, what other people do. It's, um, I don't care. I don't care. If you know, you know. Okay? So, um, I... Yeah, I've been in this game a long time. I've had a lot of fights. I've fought a lot of tough dudes. Um, I guess I still got it. <laughs> Can I ask somebody who's uh, gotten a little bit of a hard time, Leon Edwards, people keep talking about, you know, he needs to talk more, promote himself. You're a guy who's gone to the top and become pretty popular just doing your own thing and not getting into the trash talk. What is your advice for fighters who are like, they keep pushing them to talk, but, you know, that's just not their personality. Yeah, so I guess my old man, my old man, I drilled into me, don't be a sellout. If you have to sell out, don't do it. You know, don't be something you're not. I'd rather be myself as a bricklayer than someone else as a multimillionaire. You know, um, yeah, you be, be yourself. You know, you, you, can't, you can't give in. You cannot break your own values. You need to, you need to be you. Thank you and congratulations. Rob, over here. When you fought Darren Till, it was an early morning card, right? Like you started the fight mm. card. Did, and now this is obviously normal time here. Did it make a difference in what time you fought? Uh, not really. Honestly, yeah, if you have enough coffee, you can do anything. Okay? So that's, that's my secret. For anybody that wants to fight at weird hours, you just have heaps of coffee. So coffee over crystals? What are, what are crystals? Jared's, a bit, Jared's very much into the crystal here. Oh. Uh, maybe I had more coffee than he had crystals. <laughs> it seems the logical solution. Maybe if he had coffee and crystals, he would have um, I like where you uh, sort of inched it better. No more? Cool. Thanks.